Welcome to Onandal. This class we will see the Pendo's Phosphate Pathway. This Pendo's Pathway Pathway is important to biochemistry students and also botany, UG and the PG students. The Pendo's Phosphate Pathway means the glucose 6-phosphate which are produced in glycolysis that may enter into or that may break down into some other process. In that process, one of the process is pentose phosphate pathway. Because the kexose phosphate sugar glucose 6-phosphate is break down and forms a 5-carbon sugar. The 1-phosphate and the 5-carbon sugar that's called a pentose phosphate pathway. This, path, this pathway is otherwise called the kexose monophosphate pathway or Gluconate phosphogluconate pathway. Let me see what are the process involved in this pentose phosphate pathway. First, this pentose phosphate pathway is two spaces. It breaks down the glucose 6 phosphate into two spaces. The first space is oxidative space, and second space is oxidative, non oxidative space. This class, we see only the oxidative space of pentose phosphate pathway. First, the pentose, the glucose 6-phosphate which synthesizes in glycolysis or which may directly produce inside the cell, the glucose 6-phosphate is converted into 6-phosphate, 6-phosphoglucolectone, 6-phosphoglucolectone. By the enzyme, glucose 6-phosphate degetogenase, always the deg Whenever the degeneratogenase enzyme is involved, there one NAD plus or NADP plus is reduced and forms NADPH. Here, the glucose 6-phosphate degeneratogenase enzyme is magnesium dependent enzyme. This magnesium dependent enzyme first reduced the NADP, NADP plus into NADPH and H plus. This mechanism, the formation of NADPH is to maintain the balance, the cytosolic balance of NADPH. Then it forms a 6 phosphogluconolactane. Then the enzyme lactonase, the enzyme lactonase involved, the lactonase enzyme comes to area of one water molecule. After that, the 6 phosphogluconate lactane is converted into 6 phosphogluconate. Here you see the phosphogluconate is formed. So that this cycle is otherwise called phosphogluconatic cycle. Okay, yeah. Here the 6 phosphogluconate lactane is formed. Again, the 6 phosphogluconate degetogenase enzyme. The 6 phosphogluconate lactate degetogenase. This enzyme also magnesium dependent enzyme. K also 1 NADP plus is reduced into NADPH and also produce 1 chitate ion. In this process, 1 carbon, di one carbon dioxide molecule is removed from 6 phosphogluconate. Then the 6 phosphogluconate is converted into the pentose sugar that is called lubulose 5 phosphate. After the lubulose 5 phosphate is formed, this lubulose 5 phosphate is converted into lubulose ribose 5 phosphate with the help of the enzyme phosphopentose isomerase. Phosphopentose isomerase. First, we see what is different between a lubulose and the ribose. Jubulose is a keto sugar. Zygos is a aldo sugar. Keto sugar and aldo sugar means keto means a C double bond O. Compound is present in the second carbon atom in jubulose. In aldo sugar means the same C double bond O molecule present in the first carbon atom. So it is a interconversion. The interconversion of Ketose to aldose and it forms a ribose 5 phosphate. Here you see one 6 phosphate, one kexose sugar is converted into ribose sugar, one ribose sugar. This process is called oxidative space. 
Okay, this space is accelerated phase. Then the the, the ribose five phosphate which produced in this accelerated phase rendered into non-accelerated space. Let me see the non-accelerated space. In this non-accelerated method, the ribose five phosphate is converted into again a glucose six phosphate. This process is called non-accelerated space of pen, the pentose phosphate pathway. Let me see what are the process involved in non-accelerated space of pentose phosphate pathway. In non-accelerated space, the first step is ribose 5-phosphate is converted into cellulose 5-phosphate with the help of a enzyme isomerase. The enzyme pentose phosphate isomerase enzyme convert the ribose 5-phosphate into cellulose 5-phosphate. This process is reversible process. After this conversion, the two main enzymes is involved. That enzymes are called transaldolase and the transketolase. The transaldolase and the transketolase means to transfer of all those group into another group. Transketolase means to transfer of keto group into another group. The first case is the ribose five pathway and the cellulose five pathway with the help of the enzyme transaldolase. Transaldolase. Transaldolase means the aldose group. The aldose group of cellulose five pathway is transferred to ribose five pathway. Then it converted into you see here here ribose five pathway is here. 5 carbon carbon and the cellulose 5 phosphate is here another 5 carbon carbon. Both carbon contains a one phosphate group. This both, this both carbons are joined and, form, and break down to form a pseudo keptulose 7 phosphate and glycerolase 8 3 phosphate with the help of the enzyme trans outlays because they all those will be transferred to another one carbon and forms a pseudo keptulose 7 phosphate and glycerolase 3 phosphate. Then the pseudo keptulose 7 phosphate and the glycerolase 3 phosphate both are forms and break down to form a fructose 6 phosphate and glucose 4 phosphate with the help of a enzyme trans ketolase. With the help of a enzyme trans ketolase. Here one keto group is transferred from the some other carbon. So the enzyme trans ketolase forms a pseudo keptose 7 phosphate and gives a 3 phosphate into fructose 6 phosphate and glucose 4 phosphate. Here the fructose 6 phosphate is now converted into glucose 5 phosphate with a help of a enzyme phosphofructoisomerase. Here the enzyme phosphofructoisomerase is involved. They convert a fructose 6 phosphate into glucose 5 phosphate. Here one cellulose 5 phosphate is produced. One silo 5 phosphate is again involved and it forms a different 6 phosphate and also glucerolase 3 phosphate. Yes, the glucose silo 5 phosphate and glucose 4 phosphate both are formed. Here the enzyme transketolase is involved that convert a Defractose 6 phosphate and the glucerolase 3 phosphate. Here the fructose 6 phosphate is isomerized and forms here glucose 6 phosphate and it again forms here glucose 6 phosphate. The one glucerolase 3 phosphate is remained there. This process waits for the, uh, the same cycle is occurred again. The, the same cycle, the glucose 5 phosphate. And the silos five phosphate with the help of the enzyme transaldolase and the transketolase, it continuously forms a 3 carbon carbon, 7 carbon carbon, and 4 carbon carbon. 3 carbon carbon means glucerolase 3 phosphate, 7 carbon carbon means pseudo, pseudo keptulose 7 phosphate, 4 carbon carbon is elitose 4 phosphate. And this process also, one glucose 6 phosphate is formed. One glucose 6 phosphate is formed. And one glycerolase 3 phosphate is remained here. This remained glycerolase 3 phosphate is converted into the fructose 6 phosphate with a kelp of an enzyme aldolase. The two glycerolase 3 phosphate, the first cycle, one glycerolase 3 phosphate is remains. In, 
second second the same gives us the three possibilities remains the both remaining gives us the three possibilities now converted into fructose six pass the fructose one six bisphosphate with the help of a enzyme alkylase then one the fructose one six bisphosphate is then converted into fructose six phosphate the fructose six phosphate is again converted into glucose six phosphate with the help of a enzyme isomerase five carbon combo the pentose sugar is converted into a ketose sugar this process is called a non oxidative phase why this pentose phosphate pathway is important to human and also important to the plants because in the cycle the many four carbon three carbon and this and seven carbon compounds are formed this compounds are helps to forms many metabolic activity inside the cell for example in the plants the formation of alkaloids steroids are produced by the seven carbon and the four carbon compounds in both organism in plants animals and microbes in all the dna formation it needs a nucleotide for the nucleotide the five carbon compound is necessary that five carbon compound is here ribose five phosphate and the cellulose five phosphate this ribose five phosphate and the cellulose five phosphate are continuously produced during this pentose phosphate pathway so the pentose phosphate pathway is very very important to produce nucleotide the nucleotides are building blocks of the dna formation okay i go you understood the pentose phosphate pathway in very well do you have any any doubt you feel free to share in the comment box thank you